General Hospital's police reveals that Chase will give Brooke a surprise. He'll plan a trip to Italy to explore the beautiful city of Rome on his honeymoon. After Chase and Brooke's wedding is completed, they'll leave immediately. Even though Chase and Brooke have been through t- together for a while, they haven't had too many opportunities to date one-on-one. Chase wanted to organize the wedding quickly so that Gregory could witness it, and so perhaps it was a disadvantage for Brooke. So he decided to repair this trip for the two of them. Brooke's extremely happy with his new experience, and Chase is very concerned and cares for Brooke. Brooke and Chase would be very happy with their honeymoon trip after their wedding. Rome is a mysterious but no less romantic city, and Brooke can explore the mysterious beauty here while enjoying sweet moments with Chase. But they will accidentally discover Esme here. Esme is believed to have died along with Spencer when they both fell into the ocean, yet somehow Esme escaped death and is hiding in Rome. No wonder everyone in Port Charles doesn't realize Esme is still alive. Chase quickly arrests Esme as she is wanted a criminal before being presumed dead. Chase is a police officer, so of course, he has to catch criminals. Chase and Brooke's trip becomes meaningful and special when they catch a serious criminal. If Chase and Brooke hadn't gone to Rome, how would they have discovered that Esme was still alive? Chase will take Esme back home, so the honeymoon will be canceled midway, and they will no longer be in the mood to continue the trip. Brooke was extremely disappointed, but she knew that the more important thing was to bring justice to peace. Chase promised that if he had time later, he would make it up to Brooke for another trip, so he could temporarily appease Brooke. Esme told Chase that she was taken by Italian fishermen, and she thought she would live in Italy and had no intention of returning to Port Charles. When Esme meets Laura, she tells her that Spencer is still alive. So not only Esme was lucky to be saved, but so was Spencer. This is welcome news for Laura. Esme certainly had no reason to deceive Laura, and she said that Spencer was rescued by another fishing boat, which gave Laura hope. Unfortunately, Esme only knew that the machine had no idea where Spencer had been taken, but nonetheless, this is extremely important information for Laura. If Spencer is really alive, then Esme will surely find Spencer, and Laura will set out to find Spencer. Even if it's the smallest hope, she can't give up.